Hello and welcome to a Meditech training video by the IT training team which is filled with help and tips on signing letters in Meditech. Hello, welcome. My name is Richard Slater, I'm the Chief Clinical Information Officer here at Rotherham. Uh, what we're trying to do is introduce a series of videos uh, aimed at improving uh, clinician user experience uh, in interacting with our electronic healthcare records. Uh, over the series of videos we'll be introducing you to uh, some concepts that you may or may not be familiar with uh, and which will hopefully uh, allow you to streamline uh, and make more efficient your workflows in dealing with the electronic record and hopefully improve your user experience as well. Uh, as always we are open to uh, feedback uh, and welcome your input and comments. Uh, I'm quite happy to receive those. So without further ado we'll uh, take you into the video in this video we're going to be talking about signing letters. Uh, the letters that you dictate and are transcribed by your secretary are put into your Meditech sign queue. This video explains the process for reading, amending, reviewing and then signing off uh, on that clinical correspondence. Any letters you dictate are electronically signed within Meditech. If you're covering for a colleague and will be electronically signing documents on their behalf, or if you are going on annual leave and a colleague will be electronically signing documents on your behalf, please remember to notify the appropriate secretary so that the correct co-signer can be added to the document. As soon as you access Meditech via Physician Care Manager, a message box will pop up on screen telling you that you've got documents to sign and it gives you the opportunity to view and sign them at that time. However, I want to show you how you can sign your documents using the Sign tab. So we're going to select the No option. If you look on the right hand side of the screen, you can see that your Sign button is now active in red text, indicating that you've got some letters to sign. Click on the Sign button and you'll be presented with a list of all your available letters that need signing. Click the view and sign button at the bottom of the screen and when your letters have loaded up you can scroll up and down your letters, read in the information within them and if you're happy with that letter make sure that you click on the sign button. That will automatically move you on to the next letter that you can begin to start reading. If you do discover any amendments that need to be made to that letter, then click on the Edit Document button. That will open the letter up in a new window and it will enable you to be able to either go in and remove information or add information to the letter. Click the OK button at the bottom of the screen. When there's no more letters to review, the next button will be greyed out. Now, if you look here, it's just telling us that we've only got one letter mark for signature. And I didn't go in and sign the letter that I'd just made the amendments to. So I now need to click on the sign button there. As soon as I've done that, it will take me to the screen, it will let me know how many letters I've got for signature and all I need to do is click on the sign button, enter my Meditech PIN and click OK. Thank you for your attention, I hope you found our video useful and informative and I look forward to welcoming you to the next one in due course. Goodbye. And that's it. If you need any further guidance, please contact a member of the IT Systems Training Team and the details are on screen now. Thank you.